The top tonight on Eyewitness News 4 Investigators special report. Here's Christy Tedesco. Tom, tucked away in the desert not far from the prison in Florence, there is a mysterious multi-million dollar religious compound that's drawing criticism. For the past eight months, the Eyewitness News 4 investigators have been documenting several families' claims of brainwashing and inappropriate teachings at St. Anthony's Greek Orthodox Monastery. Under the condition that we wore the proper attire, we accepted an invitation inside the monastery in the hopes of uncovering this mystery. to religion. He was reported to work miracles mm -hmm. and, um, you know, to have capabilities, to, you know, to read people's thoughts and uh, to levitate when he prayed. And, David know, Smith, a former student, is referring to Father Ephrem, the leader of St. Anthony's Greek Orthodox Monastery. It's been said Ephrem's followers heard bells ringing when they stepped on this land, a signal to build right here on 106 acres. Now, this kind of beauty, architectural and natural, in the middle of Arizona is rare. And so are the stories that you're about to hear. From these religious grounds, there are tales of tormented families, anti-Semitic innuendo. From across the country, parents came to the investigators desperately seeking help. Three families, two of which are Greek Orthodox, traveling on their own dime to Tucson. They say the leadership at St. Anthony's Monastery is controlling their kids. Kids like Nico Pantanazopoulos. The brain is run by, by the monastery. Uh, they can't read what, whatever they want to read. Uh, they have to ask for permission for everything they do. The father of Scott Nevins. They become more um, elusive to you and what's what they're being told they become more maybe even deceptive if you will and the mother of paul alec they're taking these young people in such a vulnerable part of their life and uh sucking them into this um, monastic way it's a way of life the parents say that's put their children through dramatic changes take a look at scott and evans when he graduated high school this is Scott, two years later at the monastery. All of the parents say their children have been put through a process. They're like you're the frog in the kettle. Um, they, you, you're the frog in the kettle and they slowly turn the water up and before you know it, you're boiled. Mm. And the frog didn't jump out because he didn't see the heat change. That's what happened to our son. David Smith spent three years in and out of St. Anthony's Monastery. He says he was told to live with his wife like brother and sister. He also says his spiritual advisor, Father of Friends, second in command, told him to whip himself when he thought of sex. He told me to cut, you know, the electrical cord, which I did. And um, he told me to, you know, to do that on an inconspicuous part of my body. So I chose the, you know, my upper thighs. All of this may seem bizarre, but experts say it's all very typical of monasticism. It's how novices and monks are disciplined in their religion. What is not common, the experts say, are some of the other claims. In confession is where I was taught about the protocols. It's where I was taught that, uh, you know, that the end of the world is coming, that there's a shadow government that controls the United States, um, that FEMA had concentration camps set up, you know, to destroy families with. The Eyewitness News 4 investigators found Father Ephraim himself makes reference to the Protocols of Zion. That's a book that claims there's a secret Jewish conspiracy for world domination. In one of his own writings, Father Ephraim references the Protocols. He calls the Zionists infamous and the Protocols notorious, but religious experts say any reference at all to that writing goes against Greek Orthodox faith. So what you have to understand about, about this uh, whole group is that they are they are not representative of mainstream orthodoxy and that they are on the extreme right wing of the church no no it is it is a lie and i am sure that it's a lie father anthony led the greek orthodox church in tucson for thirty years he admits he helped a friend build the monastery in florence and he believes 
Ephraim is misunderstood. Why can't Father Ephraim speak on his own behalf? Because he is Father Ephraim. He's not going to play those games that people, they like to play. And when asked about the families torn apart, Father Anthony said the parents, they need to look within themselves. It's very easy to criticize someone else because I didn't do my job. As a parent, as a priest, as an individual in my country, or anything else. Now, within days of our interview with Father Anthony, one of those sons returned home to his parents. He hadn't spoken with his mother and father in several years. Meanwhile, we have been contacted by hundreds of supporters of the monastery worldwide. They say the claims are false. And Father Anthony is adamant the accusations are a lie. He says the monastery, in fact, prays for Israel and the United States every day. Tomorrow night, the investigators will look at the one thing many are asking. Where is the monastery getting its money?